Um, our final speaker for today um, is a fantastic professor here at Cerritos College and a great supporter of the Transfer Center and Transfer Students. Dr. Crystal Lovatier has been teaching geography at Cerritos College for the last nine years and is currently the Earth Science Department Chair. She is a first generation college student and a product of the community college. After attending Fullerton College, we'll forgive her. <laughs> Crystal earned her bachelor's degree and master's degree from Cal State Fullerton. Woohoo! Go Titans! I'm there. And recently completed her doctorate degree in education at USC. Woo! Go. Crystal was nominated by some of the students in attendance today and provided with comments such as Dr. Lovatier played a very significant role in helping me complete my education and transferring to the four year university. Without her care and guidance, I would have been lost in the process of the college system. She is my mentor and a great role model since I am a geography major as well. <laughs> Please help me in welcoming our final speaker for today's celebration, Dr. Crystal Lovatier. I'm not nervous until I'm standing up here. <laughs> okay, so first of all, hello transferring Cerritos College students. What, what a true joy to celebrate your accomplishments and to cheer you on as you leave Cerritos to pursue exciting and fulfilled futures. First, I want to take a minute to thank the counselors and staff from the Transfer Center, not just for putting on what for me is my favorite celebration of the entire year, but also for these transfer counselors that put on the workshops to help you guys write your UC essays. Any of you participate in those? I'm asking, wake up people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, to what, what about the, the other functions that they put together? Helping you guys do your applications, uh, the one-on-one -on -one counseling offer, uh, uh, opportunities that they offer you to make sure you're taking the right classes. Um, I just want to make sure that they are all recognized for helping you guys get to this place right here. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but you sitting here right now, you represent the reason why most Cerritos College faculty, staff, and administrators come to work every single day. People like uh, Tim Huntia from the uh, honors program that helps you guys with honors classes. Uh, people like Carlos Mera that has a line out the door for his office hours to help get you guys through your physics classes. Or uh, Angie Conley from the math department that help. <laughs> That, 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 that also, besides being a fantastic professor, she runs a math club that is solely formed to help create a community to help you guys get through your math classes. So I don't know if you guys realize this, but you really represent why we do our jobs. Our goal is to literally help you get to this place right here, to transfer to be able to sit out there with a plan and to help you all change your lives through education. Did, did you guys know this? Did you, like really, like do you know that that is why most of us get up every day, is to see you all out here right now. So I hope you feel that every day when you're on, when you used to be on campus. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Actually, I, for, I forgot my prop, hold on. need my prop. Okay, take a whiff. A big inhale, people. Hold on, go on, take a deep inhale. All right, let me help you out a little bit. <laughs> and again, again, take a deep inhale. Do you guys smell that? 
You smell it? That is the scent of your life changing. <laughs> and more so, hold on, really think about this. And more so, this is the scent of you literally changing your family tree. Not just for your, your lives, but your children and for their children. When we go to school, when we educate ourselves, when we earn degrees, we shift our family tree. I bet some of you are already feeling different from where you come from. Perhaps you don't quite fit in. Maybe your beliefs and worldviews are not quite aligned with old friends and even family. Perhaps people don't approve of your chosen major. Those are the tangible examples of your life changing, of your future shifting. Now I'm going to tell you just a little bit about me, and I'm going to give you a couple of my life mottos, and then we'll get back to uh, celebrating you and sending you out here to enjoy your summer, which you've all def uh, definitely earned. So who am I? I'm a first-generation college student. I'm the product of a community college. I paid my own way through school. I worked two and three jobs as a waitress, and I cleaned houses. I paid for every single dime toward my schooling. I came from a stressful and chaotic home. Things were not always easy in those early years. And to be honest, it wasn't until I completed community college, just as you have done, that I began to see my life shifting. I was 25 when I transferred. When I got to the place where you are right now, it was at this point that I could finally begin to see the light. I could smell the change, and I could feel the joy. Are any of you experiencing this now? That feeling of focus, truly knowing that you will pull this off? Are you feeling it? Yeah? Yeah? Well, I was at a community college. There were plenty of times when I wondered if I was going to make it. But once I transferred, I knew I would earn my bachelor's. There wasn't a doubt in my mind that I was going to pull it off. And I also knew that education would give me the power to make choices. I often say that people with degrees are not necessarily the smartest people. Simply, we are the ones that want those degrees badly. When I transferred, I knew that my choices would deeply affect the next 80 years of my life, and I knew I was making the right choices. So after I transferred from Fullerton to Cal State Fullerton, I earned my bachelor's and my master's in geography, and then I earned my dream job, to work with Cerritos College students and participate in your educational path. I just completed, uh, as Brittany said, my ninth full-time year at Cerritos. I'm doing the work I love. I also went back to school in 2008. I earned my doctorate in education from USC. Almost my entire life, I've worked and gone to school full time. I understand how arduous this process is for many of you. Today, though, my life is full of joy and peace. My life is very different than it was when I get all choked up when I think about this stuff. My students know me. I'm such a softy. Um, my life is very different than it was when I, than, than when I was about to transfer. My life is more lovely than I could have dreamed up for myself. I, Dr. Lacey, will you cover your ears for a second? I always tell my students, my life is bitchin'. It's bitchin'. <laughs> I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing bitching back. <laughs> do, do know that as you keep pushing forward, not allowing obstacles to hinder your progress, you are shaping your life to the one that you create for yourself. 
Now, I'd like to just share a couple of my life mottos that have shaped my life. Just some stuff to think about as you guys are making these decisions that are going to greatly determine the future of your life. First, I always seek expansion. I often tell my students that I have just as much to learn from them as they might be able to learn from me. So just some examples of expansion. Uh, these are the things that I get excited about. Travel, learn a new language, take piano lessons, talk to people who think differently than you do, spend more time in nature, make an effort to learn about the vast diversity of the world. Go scuba diving. Jump off the stratosphere. Don't let fear keep you from doing something that you really want to do. Lizbeth. <laughs> continue to grow, continue to evolve, and continue to learn. Now here's my second motto. This is, this is one I, I really live by. I have one life to live. It's going to be a happy one. One life to live, it's going to be a happy one. So this is what I strive for every single day. I don't strive for money or stuff or prestige or power. I strive for peace and happiness in my day-to-day -day life. I'm not saying money's bad. I just want to challenge you all to not get caught up in these extrinsic values or get up, get caught up in this culture that's outside these doors that tells you that your value is based on the car you drive or the clothes you wear. You guys know that's not true, right? You know in your gut that that's not true. So don't get caught up in that nonsense. Don't buy into it. So speaking of happiness, research was done to determine the three characteristics that all people have, all happy people have. The three characteristics that all happy people have. Do you want to know what they are? Yeah. I'd get out a piece of paper. I'm going to tell you the secret to happiness here, people. <laughs> it, it is, and it, do you think it's going to include money and stuff and things? Fancy cars, is that going to be in this list? Heck no. Okay, here we go. Number one, it's actually pretty simple. Be authentic. Be authentic. Be you. If you find yourself shape-shifting too much and, and acting a certain way in front of certain people, you might not really be being you. Be authentic and true to your true self. Number two, why is nobody writing this down? The secrets of happiness, people. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, be vivacious. Be vivacious. So what does that mean? Be excited about life. Sometimes when I get grumpy with my students and they're sitting there with that look on their face like, uh, uh, I can't stand being here. The reason why I get grumpy with them is because I feel like they're not getting this. Make the most out of every experience. Find joy. Live life to the fullest in every experience. So number two, be vivacious. And number three, be playful. Be amused. Use your imagination. Have fun. Life is fun. Don't be so serious all the time, people. Loosen up. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Angie Conley. <laughs> in closing, in closing, Dr. Lacey, I'm speaking. <laughs> She's feeling joyful. <laughs> in closing, we do not choose where we come from, but we choose where we go and how we engage with the world. For me, those are the two values I live by. Expansion, growth, evolving, and happiness. It's, it's, it's such a simple, it's so simple. People think it's all so difficult. That's it. Expanding, growth, and happiness. My dear mentor, Mr. Bixler, none of you guys know him, he once confirmed my perspective when he said, as you get closer to the end of your life, 
You don't think about the cars you drove or the houses you owned. You think about your life experiences and you think about your relationships. I told you I'm a softie. <laughs> I wish for all of you expansive relationships and happy experiences. And finally, please keep in touch with all of us at Cerritos. We love hearing from you. Sometimes I hear from students, oh, I don't want to bother you. I don't want to blah, blah, blah. Are you kidding me? That is the joy of our day, to get an email or a note from a former student letting us know how you're doing in your life. So please keep in touch with all of us. We care deeply.